Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I just wanted to cover how to whiten eyes and teeth in Lightroom. So whitening eyes and teeth in Lightroom is super simple. You're going to do it using the brush tool, and your brush tool is going to be found in your masks tool. As you click here, either a box will open up right here underneath the toolbar, and you can choose brush from there. But if you've already applied masks, then this masks panel is going to open up over here and you can click on the plus button, create new mask and choose a brush. Okay. So once you choose brush, some options are going to open up over here on the right side of your screen and you're going to find all of your pretty preset brushes that you have installed over here by clicking next to this word effect. Okay. And when I click on this, uh, huge menu, maybe not huge for everyone, but I have a lot of brushes. So a menu is going to open that's going to allow you to choose which brush you want to use. So Pretty Presets has a few options for whitening eyes and teeth. We have the Perfect Portrait Collection, and that's going to have the Portrait te Teeth White and Gray and Portrait Teeth White and Yellow. And these are good for whitening teeth of either yellow or gray, just like they described. My favorite one is from the Clean Edit Portrait Workflow, and it's called the Pretty Eye and Teeth Whitener. And I like this one because it's just kind of a one-click edit for both eyes and teeth. Also, the portrait, the pretty, um, the perfect portrait brushes also have the Eyes Whiten brush. So there are separate brushes for both eyes and teeth. Frankly, I've never used one to do both, but it's possible that you could. I just never thought of it until this brush was created that says eye and teeth. And so now I use it for both eyes and teeth. Some of us aren't that creative and we just need to be told what to do apparently. So it's super easy. You'll have a brush that will open. Now, when I am whitening eyes and teeth, I want to be zoomed in on my subject. So I'm going to use the command or control plus and minus keys to zoom in. And frankly, the more zoomed in you can be, probably the better because these are going to be small areas that you are brushing over as opposed to the skin, which is a slightly larger area or even the background of your subject. These are going to be small little areas, so I want to make my brush um, smaller than the area I'm brushing because I want to be precise. So I'm going to use the bracket keys, the right bracket key to make my brush bigger and the left bracket key to make my brush smaller. And then I'm just going to brush over the teeth. Now I want to ensure that I'm not getting the lips. Um, or even the gums. Sometimes you can just make the gums look gray and that just doesn't look really fantastic. So I just try to stick with the teeth. Sometimes you'll see upper teeth and lower teeth that you'll need to whiten, but I just go over any teeth that can be seen. And then I come up to the eyes and I'm just going to brush over the whites of the eyes. And you can adjust the size of your brush based on the size of the area you have to whiten, make sure it's smaller than the area because you don't want to whiten the skin or whiten the colored part of the eye. That's really not what you want. I use this a lot because my kids have allergies and allergies make your eyes red. So I'm often whitening their eyes. So if you have that issue come up a lot in your editing, these brushes are gonna be super helpful for you. I'll zoom out a little bit. If I click on the eyeball next to the mask we've just created, I'm going to click on the eyeball to turn it off and then click on the eyeball to turn it on. And you can see that it makes a big difference in whitening the eyes and teeth of our subject. We can just do one more portrait really quickly here. This one, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm clicking over here in my masks panel on the plus sign and I'm creating, I'm clicking create new mask and I'm going to click the brush. And because I already had the pretty eye and teeth whitener brush selected, I don't have to choose anything different. I'm going to use command plus to zoom in. I'm just going to hover over the teeth 
And frankly, the teeth on the top are fairly white, but if I wanted to, I'm gonna come down here and just whiten the bottom teeth just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna keep my brush really small because on her eyes, we don't see a lot of the whites of the eyes. And so I just want to come up here and just click on these. Now I don't whiten the eyes for every single portrait that I take, um, but especially if it's a close-up portrait or if it's a portrait that really focuses on the face, then I'm gonna want to, to make sure I whiten the eyes and the teeth. Super easy to do this. Um, if you want to see the overlay, remember that you can tap the O key and that will show you where you've brushed and and I could come in here and be like, oh yeah, I didn't get the very tops of here. So I could fill that in a little bit. These brushes are super helpful and super use useful. It means that I don't have to go plug in all of the different settings every time I want to use a brush. Hopefully this helps you get the most out of your brushes when you want to whiten eyes and teeth in Lightroom.